Greetings and salutations everyone. Hi there, I'm Mark Absalon and welcome to another edition of Mark Absalon's Video Tips and Tricks. You're probably looking at the screen saying, hey, this looks familiar. Well, it probably does, but it's different. This is Vegas Pro 9 and we are going to be doing a series of Vegas Pro 9 tutorials here online and I'm going to show you all the aspects that you'll need to know to do a really good edit with Vegas Pro 9 so you'll be very proficient in it by the end of these tutorials now Vegas Pro 9 just came out well it did when I made this video it depends on how long ago you're listening to it now and um, it's quite different from Vegas Pro 8 in a lot of different aspects they're using this different color tone it's very very much like uh, Premiere Pro CS4 and they also have a 64-bit version of it now what we're going to do in this video is I'm just going to show you the basics and some of the, the uh, features on Vegas Pro because you need to know the actual outline of the program like if you're just sitting down opening this up you want to know what it's about and that's what we're going to do in this video and in the other tutorials I'm going to take each aspect that I talked about in this video and go into really depth detail and show you how to do some amazing things with it so when you actually open up Vegas you can see I have a project here but we're gonna not save it if you open up Vegas you'll see a new project template come up well we're gonna go over all that later but we're just gonna do a 720 30 and uh, get a blank slate here you're gonna notice that nothing is there there's no wizard or anything to guide you through anything because this is the professional version so looking at this Vegas Pro 9 is set up like any other NLE or non-linear editing program and that's set up with the way with the timeline at the bottom a canvas window here for our video track that's on the timeline and Vegas has the trimmer and the preview window together and then a media bin here on the side now the media bin has evolved quite a bit with other things attached to it but nevertheless it's the pretty much the same way it was in the beginning and all your programs everything from Final Cut Pro to uh, Premiere Pro CS4 or on down uh, and uh, Avid are going to look like this so if you go from one program to another you're going to be able to figure out where things are pretty easily now Vegas is actually set up um, in three different ways you have your timeline here on the bottom you have your dockable windows here on the top and when I say dockable that means you can pull it out and have it a separate window place it back or you can move this around so it's really customizable and that, that's a nice thing also this customizable too is the uh, the tools here on the top and you can customize that by going up to options and customize toolbar and add whatever you want to but let's close that and also the third part besides the dockable windows is your um, track control that's here on the side now let me add a track here this track was given to me by scenic videos a good friend of mine on YouTube and uh, he actually uh, has these over on his website to download for free so I'll put a little link up on the side so you can check them out and uh, he's also here on YouTube too and he does uh, great meditative videos you should check out his channel and uh, subscribe to him but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drag this over the trimmer highlight it and then drag it down here on the timeline so that I can show you this other feature because the track control is right here and the track control controls the video and the audio and it allows you to manipulate it on the track now Vegas has changed um, back in Vegas Pro they had actually had the timeline at the top and it was kind of confusing and even in Vegas uh, Vegas 8 you didn't have two separate windows uh, one for your canvas and one for your uh, preview so th they've changed quite a bit and I like the way they're going now other features in Vegas that we're going to explore later on are the media bin we'll go over all the different aspects of that 
the Explorer, which allows you to drag stuff from your hard drive or whatever and uh, put it on the timeline or put it in your trimmer and it'll automatically put it in your media bin. We'll go over all the transitions. There are tons of transitions and they're all customizable. But be cautious with the, tra the transitions because uh, if, you, if you've never edited before, you kind of get overwhelmed and you'll use them like mad. And by the end of it, your video will look like it's from 1982, where they had all those cool and groovy transitions, which uh, now are pretty tacky for video. Make sure your transition always has a point. Uh, probably the ones that you'll be using more than anything are the Dissolve and the Flash. Um, so those are, those are some good classics. Or the Fade. Um, the Fade's pretty easy here on Vegas, but we'll go over that a little bit more later on. Uh, also, there's a lot of video effects, um, a ton of them. Uh, they're all customizable, including uh, there's some masking effects, a mask generator on here too that we're going to go into major detail with because there's several different ways to mask within Vegas. Uh, so we'll go over all of these and more. And there's your media generator, including your Pro Type Titler tool, which is revolutionary. When Vegas 8 came out, I'd never seen anything like it, and I still haven't seen anything like it, so it's really nice to have, along with color gradients, uh, credit rolls, etc. So we're going to cover all of that. Um, we're also going to talk about all the buttons at the top. A lot of people are kind of confused by these, and we're going to go over each and every single one of them and tell you what they do and how to use them in Vegas. So we'll make sure we do that. Also, within the dockable windows on the top, you can view a lot of different things. We'll talk about your vector scope and your waveform and go into detail on those. Uh, we'll talk about the master mixer. We'll talk about the surround uh, panner. We'll talk about the uh, new and improved XD Cam Explorer. If you're using the EX1 or the EX3 by Sony, you will love this thing. It's really great. Uh, we'll discuss just about all of these and how to add them to your window because some of these you'll be using more than others. We will also discuss in detail track motion and we'll also talk about this cool thing from the Alpha Source. Uh, all the different things here that you can use for the Alpha Source overlays to screen to hard light to the very cool 3D source, which is one of the really nice ones. I I've always liked the 3D source because some of the stuff you can do with it, you can add some really cool graphical effects. So we'll go over track motion and uh, let me undo that and uh, undo that again. I could do control Z but I, I didn't do that. Um, and uh, we'll talk about all the uh, different, um, different audio effects you can add into your audio track. Uh, we'll discuss a lot of different stuff. There's just so much stuff. I, I don't want to overdo it in this video because I could be under just talking about the different items we're going to discuss for like the next 20 minutes. And I really don't want to do that. So in other words, probably your best thing to do right now is just to open up the program. I'll play around with it a bit. Look at some of the things that I've told you about. Maybe import a clip from a uh, scenic videos and kind of play with it add some effects to it see what you can do and uh, in the next one we'll go over stuff uh, that we've talked about we'll go one by one into detail so that you can go from editing a clip to making some really great intros to etc so you're gonna you guys are just gonna love this to some of the the masking uh, that you can do here in Vegas Pro 9 Guys, if you got a second, go over to my website, markapsalon.com. Check out my training DVDs. I have advanced camera techniques, basic camera techniques, so you can get those really good shots. And also learn how to edit in these videos, uh, edit them together to make some really cool movies. So I have two videos over there, there on DVD that will really help you out. Uh, also, lighting made simple because the lighting is very important for your videos. And chroma key made simple for the chroma key effects. So go over to my website and check out those video DVDs. They really help me uh, make these DVDs, these, these online videos. I can't speak tonight. These online videos here on YouTube, and I really appreciate you buying them. Also, guys, I'm doing a contest on my YouTube channel. Um, you can enter it by subscribing. 
uh, also commenting on my videos and adding me as a, as a friend on MySpace. And if you want to learn more about it, click the video right up here and it'll tell you what the prices are for the, uh, the area that we're in right now because it's going to be every 10,000 subscribers that we're doing this. So thank you guys for in watching this video. I appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, just shoot me over an email and I'll do the best I can to help you out. And until the next time here on Tips and Tricks, I'm Mark Absalon, and I hope you will enjoy these tutorials as I do them, because it's fun and cool and groovy and stuff, and I get to ramble on a mic with the screenshot program. <laughs> well, guys, you have a cool and groovy evening wherever you might be.